I'm Brian Welsh, I've been the Chief Executive at Nido Student since 2017. During that time I've seen the portfolio grow from 2,000 beds in the UK to over 10,000 beds across Europe where we're operational now in Germany, the Netherlands and Ireland. What we've distinctly tried to do is talk to and listen to the students and actively involve the students in the management of the residences. I guess what's different about Nido, we've got a genuinely global mindset. We have students from over 100 different countries living with us, attending over 150 different universities. And the team we've assembled together is one of the most experienced in the sector. In 2020, we were opening up new countries in Germany, in the Netherlands and in Ireland. And we're working on new developments in Spain and Portugal. In March 2020, the pandemic really started to take hold and began having an effect on the business. We were able to respond quickly because we'd invested very heavily in technology. So bookings, show rounds, VR tours, all of these things we had already established and we were at the cutting edge of technology within the sector. Participated actively in this year's National Student Housing Survey in the UK. And it was great to see that even despite the pandemic, the overall Nido value for money score was better than benchmark for other providers. 83% of students at Nido rated their accommodation good or very good. But what's really great is that the net promoter scores, which is the key metric we always look at, was plus 31 and I've never seen anything like that before. It's a whole 18 points higher than the industry average of 13. More than a third of students rank Nido student as 10 out of 10. What's nice to see is that something in the order of 85% of students, according to our own internal research, are still really keen to live in the location where their university is, despite the fact that a lot of the courses are available online. 85% of students, even if given the choice to study online, would prefer to go and move into their accommodation and attend university in anticipation of being part of the NIDO and the university community. If you're an investor with an allocation towards real estate, you will also have an allocation towards alternative real estate. But the kind of core investments that you would have made in the past in offices, maybe in hotels or retail, those areas are suffering a lot of pain right now. And that alternative percentage of your allocation is maybe increasing. And the biggest alternative bucket now we see is purpose-built student accommodation. So what do we see in the future? We see greater student numbers, and that's only going to accelerate. We see more students traveling, and indeed, I think it's fair to say an increased appetite for residences that prioritise well-being, safety, community and connectivity, like Nido Student.